type of art from outside they look very similar but when you look at them inside you will see the difference so the artist is able to recognize the stones from how they look and you can see the beautiful colors of uh, local stones and imported ones this is lapis different qualities of the same lapis you have malachite this lapis comes from Chile and Afghanistan. Lapis is from Congo or Ural. So we import the stones from all over the world. So this is an example of a sketch and that my father is making. He made the same sketch on translucent paper and then on sticky paper. You have an example in here so the design will be cut out into many different templates look at that the design was cut into many different templates and each template will be glued on the stone according to the colors that we find you can see this example that's a cypress tree which was put in the middle between two colors the stone is lighter in here and darker in here and the artist decided to put the template in between these two colors because the light in the composition would come from this side and the shadow would be on the other side of the tree. Right. This is the cutting tool. He's going to pass through the hole with the wire. That's an iron wire and this bow is, was made with a chestnut wood. That's the cutting tool. He's going to cut around the template using iron wire and abrasive powder, which is carborundum, together with water. The water keeps the wire cold and makes the friction on the wire so that he can cut around the piece. While cutting, he cuts on an angle. He bevels the piece so that the part that we are looking at will be much larger than the back side. So after cutting, we will have many different pieces. The back side is gray because they are on a supportive slate. Each single piece was cut at an angle with a simple inclination so that when you put them close one to another one you will have a gap a V space where he can melt the glue the artist Filippo is going to try each single piece the artist is going to file each single piece to find the perfect joints. You can see how he tries every piece because the, the spaces should be invisible so that he can glue from the back but the front side should be perfectly smooth and jointed. He's going to glue the back using hot tool and these wax on resin. This is the glue that it was used in centuries and the drops of the glue will go in the space between two pieces. So the glue is melted in uh, the space, in the gap uh, between the pieces. He 
this is the result when it will be finished. It's a very contemporary design made by my brother. He used some precious stones like lapis and then local stones like giallo di Siena, yellow from Siena, and uh, lila and other jaspers from Sicily. So you have uh, the workmanship from the back, but when you look uh, at the front side, you will see how it will light up. Here we have a crystal on the back. That's why we can see the amount of work and the intricacies. So I can put a light on the back so you can see how the light goes through it and you will see the beauty of each single piece. And how it's translucent, some of them light up. This is laboratory right in the window. And look at the subtle light. But if I go down, these are all jaspers. So the light cannot come through because they are very solid. <laughs>